Hi everyone. I want to have a look at how you know how far you are away from a drawing. So when you start a new template, a lot of us would just use the uh, the Acad ISO DWT, and it comes in with this grid on the background. Now it's not too clear for you at the moment. It's a bit grey. You can obviously change the colours. I'm just going to make it clearer for us and I'm going to switch out the colors of the background in this case to white. You can see the grid very clearly in the background. It sort of resizes and there's a bit of a, a setting going on here if you go to your grid settings you can see you've got some settings whether it's adaptive or not. If it's not adaptive you have to zoom in very close to start seeing that exactly as it should be right so there's it's quite a lot going on here but as you zoom in and out especially if it's adaptive it just keeps on resizing you can zoom out you can zoom, zoom in and then suddenly you decide you want to draw something how big is the something that you want to draw how far are you away from the page so i've drawn the solar system to scale before i wanted to investigate the eclipse and so i drew the sun and the moon about 400 times as small, about 400 times as far away, and the earth, and I looked at rays that would come from the circular of the sun and how they hit the earth, and it was really, really close. It was quite an experience to draw something like that in AutoCAD, but then I also realized that, wow, AutoCAD can handle these incredibly huge distances and it actually does the mathematics really well. All good and well, but what if I want to draw a component that's, say, 100 by 100? It's very easy to start drawing things all over the show and you don't really know what you're drawing or how big it is or how far you are. So when I was in engineering, when I studied engineering when I was uh, in my late teens, early 20s, I had a friend and he always laughed at me because what I did was I said, all right, let me draw a circle around the zero, zero point in AutoCAD. And let me just give it a representative size. You can see already there, it's like millions, all right? So I want to draw something that's say 100 millimeters. So I give it a radius of 100, and I press Enter. And then I say Zoom, Enter, and All. That then zooms me into the drawing. And if I draw my component over here, let's suppose I wanted to draw some other rectangle, 100 by 100 then at least I know I'm kind of there or thereabouts. So he was laughing at me and he said, well, why don't you just draw a square? And I said, well, why should I draw a square? I'd like drawing circles. And it was just funny to me because I've kept on drawing circles until now I'm 45 already. And it's just something I've always done. It's a force of habit. If I start drawing something, I don't trust the drawing. I want to see how close I am to the origin, what sort of size I'm drawing. And then I have a sense and a until other things exist on the page and I have a sense for how large I'm drawing something. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still drawing squares. But there's a better way to do this. And I didn't know this until I read one of the textbooks and I discovered that we have something called limits. So if you type in limits then you can specify whether the limits are on or off at the bottom obviously we want them on and then you can specify from where to where they must go from, from zero, 0 and then we can choose how big we want those limits to be so let's suppose I want to work within a 500 or a 500 so say so half a meter by half a meter 500 millimeters that now sets the limit for my drawing it kind of tells you when you're outside the limit that you're drawing outside the limits and again it doesn't want you to allow you to draw outside of those limits so it kind of prevents you from drawing outside that box but you still can't really see that box until you go and fiddle with the settings on your grid and there you can see aha I don't want to display the, the grid beyond the limits you could even say keep an adaptive grid if you want to zoom in and out 
or you can just say you want to make that grid constant and once you do that it then provides you with this grid which is constant and it shows you the limits to what you want to draw here on your 2D and that at least gives you a starting point so if you've got a company and, and you just want to make it easy for you guys and notice if you've zoomed out very far and you're just typing Z enter and extends and zoom extends or if you can use the zoom extends on the nav bar it will achieve the same thing the only problem is, is you can't go beyond the limits and so once you're zoomed in you have to remember to switch the limits off off so switching the limits off does not remove the grid but now you can draw beyond the extents of the limits and that's the state at which I would recommend you leave your template where you give on a blank page or on a blank uh, model space just somewhere the indication of the size of how far you should be zoomed in it's a much better way I wouldn't be surprised if I just still keep on drawing a circle <laughs> around the zero zero point just by force of habit and zooming into that circle but that's me okay, it's just something that I do but of course if you are setting something up for a company I think it would be silly to tell everybody to draw a circle all the time if you can set your limits so I hope you've also learned something new if you've known this already good and uh, whatever method you use to make sure that you zoomed in to the resolution when you started drawing just remember this idea it's something most people that learn AutoCAD for the first time get wrong and it's so easy to get right and so the limits command is a very useful command until next time enjoy AutoCAD